Hello felting friends! You might hear the rain. Uh, I'm in the car. We are having flooring installed. So I am going to show you some leg patterning. I used paper towels and paper and I traced the leg pattern onto double-sided fabric. So two pieces put together and then just sew around the leg. Uh, leaving the ankle open and you can cut your little darts so that you can turn it and then turn it inside out. Here is the body. I used paper towel and then this is single sided. Uh, just one fabric cut around your pattern leaving a uh, seam there, a little allowance for a seam. So you cut that out. Again that is one layer and then put the edges together, wrong sides together, and flip it around. So here is your uh, one of your legs. So I decided to do a little bit different than the felting, uh, just to see if this would be quicker. So I have fabric legs for one of the dolls. Then I have crocheted legs for one of the dolls. And how I made my pattern is with paper towel. So I took my felted body and just laid those paper towel on, got the shapes that I thought would work, and then cut them out. So I kind of thought of like a beach ball, how it has the sections around, if that makes sense. And here is the crocheted leg. If you're interested in having the pattern for the crocheted leg, um, send me a message and I'm trying to think if I should do like a um, thing on Etsy, like a code for a free pattern on Etsy or something like that. So let me know. So here I am showing how to do the invisible decrease. So you get one loop in the front, second loop in the front, pull through and pull through. And so you're not going through both legs of the stitch. And that's how you do the invisible decrease. So one leg in the front, one leg in the front of the two stitches that you're putting together and pull through. So this video is a little bit quick, I'm sorry. Um, here I'm going to show you a color change. So you just go in the last stitch with the color that you've been using and instead of keeping on with that color, you pick up the new color and pull that through to finish the round. So if you would like more um, of these videos in slower, the crochet videos in a slower pace, just go ahead and send me a message and I can make some of those. I wasn't sure how many people would be interested in the crochet videos. So really I'm just showing the different kinds of um, legs and the different kind of bodies. So, And I will have these patterns if you share my videos and you would like one of these patterns for the legs or the body, you can send me a message and say I shared your video and I will give you a code for the pattern on Etsy. Uh, I do not have it up yet. We are getting our floors done so it's been pretty crazy around here but that is something that I can do. So. so then I am tracing some more of the soles of the feet on cardboard. I decided, this is cereal cardboard, I decided not to use the clay um, just to speed the process up and I think I mentioned that in a previous video that I was gonna switch to the cardboard and so here I'm showing you um, the, how to do that. So you just get your wire like before. You have your six inches and a little extra for the gluing bit. And so you have your six inch leg and then uh, there's a little extra there to glue down. I did use hot glue. Uh, that worked really well. So just be careful because the wire does conduct the heat and it gets a little bit warm. So try not to <laughs> burn your fingers. And uh, it was a little bit fiddly, so you can put a piece of tape to hold it. I, I didn't. I just held it down, and it worked out just fine. So 
I can't wait to have the floors done and have all of my crafting stuff back in one location. It's just been a hot, crazy mess. So here I'm just putting the hot glue down and then I will cover these with fabric. So I'm going to be assembling all of the legs and all of the different style bodies. You can see in the picture here, I have the yarn wrapped, the crocheted, the fabric, and I'll be showing you once they're all assembled, um, all the different types of bodies and legs that you can do, uh, the needle felted. So it was really fun to experiment and have all the different kinds. Um, obviously, I didn't show how to do the crochet legs. Um, it's pretty much just having a pattern and you're going around and around in a circle. So again, if you'd like that pattern, uh, do share my videos and let me know and I will send you the code. Um, for the patterning of the legs and the body, I did show you the paper towel pattern, uh, the picture of it. So you can do a screenshot um, and try to draw your own, or if that's something that you would like, I can try to do a PDF uh, to have also. So, but really, it's just the, sh the shape that you saw. Um, but if you would like the PDF, you know, do let me know. And uh, since this doll ended up bigger than the original that I wanted, I didn't go crazy with uh, listing the PDFs and all of that because it's not the size that I'm going to continue with. I, I want to continue with the size of the original idea that I had. So the, the following dolls after these videos will go back to that small size. So for the people that bought that PDF of the proportions, that is the one that I'm going to be doing uh, from here on out. Okay, bye guys. Thanks so much. Please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. It was a quick one. Bye.